Hey guys, AD here from the Explorographer.com and I've had Unraid running for quite a while now and I thought I'd do another video for you guys and show you a little bit on how to install applications and running Docker. Uh, so this is my test system. It's already up and got a bunch of stuff installed, uh, but what I'm gonna do is basically uh, show you kind of from the beginning how I got started and hopefully this will help you guys out. So let's get started Okay, so the very first thing you're gonna want to do is obviously you can see I have a lot of things running here I've got some temperatures uh, down here on the taskbar. I've got a bunch of docker apps running uh, I also have if over here in my plugins uh, I also have a list of different apps that I use here tips and tweaks nerd tools uh, fix common problems. Those are some nice apps, uh, dynamics, uh, active streams, and whatnot. And I also have uh, the plugins or the uh, community apps plugin installed. So I'm going to show you today how to get started with this sort of stuff. And you can kind of take it from there. Uh, it's pretty easy. So the very first place you're going to want to start is over at Lime Tech. And you're going to want to go to Lime Tech their main page, and you're gonna to wanna to go to support and then down to the community forums. Now you wanna create yourself a profile here, and uh, this is a great place to get started with Unraid. There's a lot of helpful people in here, uh, Lime Tech support and whatnot. Uh, before you go and bother them with support, you can always find out uh, your answers here in the forums, or at least get a good start, unless it's a, like a major thing that uh, folks here who already have a great amount of experience can help you out. So the very first thing you'll do is once you get uh, Unraid installed and up and running and you've got your first user share all set up and all that, uh, you're going to, now this is version 6.2.4, so what you're going to do is come over here to the forums and you'll scroll down until you see plugin support, which is under application support. So if you come down to plugin support and you click there, uh, you're going to get this nice list. The very first three on the top, I'm going to highly recommend that you get those first and install those first. So let's just start with the nerd pack. A lot of apps rely on uh, some of the stuff that's in the nerd pack like Python uh, and a screen and read line and that kind of stuff in Perl. Uh, so you're going to want to start by installing this first and getting this going. This is going to give you some experience on how to install apps the old way too, which I think is an important uh, piece of knowledge to have. So essentially you can go and read the thread if you want to, but if you scroll down uh, on this very first uh, topic in the thread, it shows you exactly what to do here. Uh, what you're going to do is copy this URL right here. So you can highlight that and then uh, copy it. Okay, and it just says here, uh, it says copy and paste this on the install plugin page of the web GUI and you'll be on your way. So it's really that simple. So if we come back over here to uh, Unraid and we go to the plugins page and then there's two tabs at the top, installed plugins and install plugins. So we'll just come here and paste that and go ahead and hit the install button and it will do the rest. Once you have Nerd Pack installed, you're gonna come back here and you're going to do the rest of these as well. The Dynamics version six plugin, uh, you can pick which ones you like to use here. I'm using System Temp right now, Active Streams and a couple of other ones here. Uh, so you'll wanna pick those up for sure. Uh, and each of those has a URL, just the same exact way, do exactly what you did uh, for uh, the nerd uh, plugins and you'll have those installed quite easily and then finally uh, probably one of the best apps out here right now to help you get going especially with docker is the community applications and you'll just copy this in uh, it'll it'll uh, create a brand new tab as you can see over here called apps once it's installed and now you can find all of your docker apps in here by doing a search uh, like if you're going to install plex uh, you can go ahead and do that and it'll do a search and it'll find all the versions of plex that are out there uh, and you can kind of choose what you want to do which ones you want to use right now uh, i am using the plex media server and uh, i'm going to apologize because i'm not sure which one that i installed here let's take a look uh, the Lime Tech Plex. So I just basically used uh, that one. I tried a bunch of different ones off the uh, application uh, list and that was uh, the one that I liked the best. Uh, let me see if I can show you which one that is. So I think I grabbed, 
uh, this one right here, Limetex Plex Media Server. So uh, installing applications here is just like uh, the iTunes store. I mean, you just click on the app and it will go ahead and, and tell you what you need to do to install it uh, and you're good to go. So it's a pretty pretty good uh, way to, to go. Install the plugin, boom, it goes. So um, I hope that helps you guys out a little bit. That's just to get your applications going. This would kind of be a next step after you've installed Unraid and got it going and then wanted to take the next step as far as installing Docker and plugins and that kind of stuff. So, all right, guys, I hope this helped you out. And if it did, please like and subscribe to the channel or dislike the video if you disliked it. Leave me a comment below. I'll try to help you out if you have any questions. Uh, I'm sure I missed something in this. So um, definitely feel free to ask them and I'll do my best to help you guys. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care.